Well, good morning, Jefferson Eagles. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a random forest. And uh, the reason for that is I thought that we would do the words of wisdom today out on a hike together, just uh, kind of switch it up. And it's sort of part of my message today. Um, and so just hike with me and let's talk about the word tenacity. That's our word of wisdom for the month of April. So if you'll remember from last week, tenacity is really the concept of, of uh, staying determined. Um, and, and keeping strength with what you're doing and not giving up. And so right now we're in a pretty bizarre time and it's really important that we don't give up hope and that we stay tenacious or uh, keep having ten tenacity. So what I want to talk about today is just kind of how we go about doing that. And the main way that I want to talk to you about today is finding... Um, Finding little pockets in your life right now that give you hope or uplift your spirit. And so for me, what that's been um, almost every day for the past few weeks is getting out in nature and just stopping and taking a look around at my environment and just feeling peaceful and content. And in doing that, it not only kind of makes me mentally or in my head feel better, but also my body feels better too. Um, it's amazing how much pent up energy you can get when you're, you know, just sitting at your house, you know, lying on your bed or on a chair most of the day. So that's one thing that I do is I get up and I move. It makes me feel so much better. Now for you, that might not be the thing that uplifts you. Maybe because you don't really not like nature or maybe because you're not right next to it. And I can understand that. So what you have to think about for yourself is what does the trick for you? Is it reading a really great book? Is it uh, going outside and playing imagination games? Is it maybe uh, baking, cooking, um, making a new invention? Um, you have to find that thing for yourself that that gives you that strength and, and encourages you to keep going and keep giving you hope. See, for me, like I stop right here and this gives me hope. And maybe that sounds weird to you, but I see the sun hitting through the trees and how the light is hitting the trees in different ways and it's just this big opening here and it makes me feel hopeful. So you got to figure out what's that thing for you. And it's going to look different for everyone. Um, what I would encourage you to do is if you aren't feeling hopeful, if you aren't feeling like you have tenacity or the determination to you know, keep working through this, um, talk to your parent about it or talk to an older brother or sister or reach out to, to Mrs. Hickson or me or Mr. Newell. Um, there's lots of different ideas we can give you. But partially you have to do some of the work. You have to figure out what your interests are and what your passions are. So, yeah, for me, I come out here, I walk every day, I hike every day, I get out of breath every day <laughs> and I just come out and I stop where I am sometimes I'll even just shut my eyes and just listen to the sounds listen for the sound of the birds you can hear some cars in the distance on the highway you can hear all sorts of little critters out here like squirrels and that just really calms me and it makes me feel happier and it makes me uh, feel encouraged um, to keep going on with tenacity and determination. So I know this was kind of long-winded, but uh, hopefully this helped you out. Uh, it sure helped me out. I, I love talking about this and I, I love being out here. And um, I hope that everyone's doing well and I can't wait to uh, do another Words of Wisdom for next week. So... I'm actually going to stop here to do my phrase because if I keep going, I know I'm going to trip and fall on my face. So, with something to think about, this is Mr. Bishop. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Bye, guys.